Would you believe me if I told you that most professional athletes, if not all of them, are on some form of performance enhancing drugs? Would you believe me if I told you that most of them lied about this and continue to lie about it to their friends, family, and their entire career? Oh, hi guys. Well, I would probably say that most of you wouldn't believe me. There's a moderate amount of you who probably do, but I have some interesting stuff for you today. Look at, might convince you otherwise. Lex Freeman recently had Craig Jones on his podcast. Craig Jones is a notorious fighter, wrestler, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion. Right, rightfully so, right? This is what Craig should be doing, right? Yeah, but, I mean... Now, Marigali doing good... letting him actually get in here and play a game. Oh, he's going to the instructional material! Faltry! Craig uses and it to come on top! that great Beautiful. defense from Marigali, too! Really impressive guy. Really impressive repertoire. Gets his ass beat by a couple people, but nonetheless is a decent fighter. He has some things to say about performance enhancing drugs, and he is absolutely not shy about talking about what he exactly takes on a day-to-day -day basis for his performance enhancing protocols. So what percentage of athletes would you say are on steroids? Is it 100%? Anyone that's ever beaten me. Okay. They're taking more steroids than me. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to uh, test them, but not to do anything bad but just in the name of science to see yeah. what people are running you know I, it's so hard to say because you like you train with people and they don't even tell you what they're on i tell the world what i'm on and they go look at you you're not taking any steroids so it's like it's like uh, such a secret secret thing it, i personally think it's almost impossible to say but occasionally you look at a guy and you, you're pretty certain you know yeah the looks of it but it, it could also go the other way certain people are just genetically built it and they look like they are and then there's probably others like yourself it's a it's a self-defense mechanism mechanism because you'd rather assume that that guy was on steroids than his genetics are so far superior to yours you're like nah it must be steroids moral of the story what he's saying here is that the likelihood that a majority of people in this sport and many others are using performance enhancing drug is pretty highly likely lex is a very innocent man and i don't think lex really could actually pontificate how many people are taking steroids and as a coach who helps guide people doing these things i can tell you that there's a lot of sports quite peculiar sports even that have helped people with in their pharmacology practice and it is widespread it is not just in one sport like combat sports or bodybuilding but it is in virtually every sport so things as little as golf believe it or not at the end of the day, there would be almost no way we could keep breaking physical records year after year after competing for hundreds of years. The training methods haven't really changed. Things really haven't improved in our society to place people on a higher evolutionary pedestal. They are just likely taking a copious amount of drugs. Now, to prove my point, and just to make note of this, because I think it's, it is really important, to be honest, Let's look at Craig Jones and just see what he looks like. And you can be the judge of if you think someone like this is the kind of guy you would imagine blasting steroids. Picture number one. He's big. He's got muscle. He's got size. He's got an outline of a six pack, a noticeable chest popping off of his rib cage. He's got arms and some vascularity in his arms, but he doesn't look insane. He doesn't look ridiculous he doesn't look unbelievably huge he doesn't look unobtainably big this looks pretty normal for most of us when we look at a fighter this is kind of what we think example number two again really good physique big chest nice abs like they're they're poking out they're not crazy or anything right but like they're good he's got shoulders delts everything like that man's a great fighter has a decent physique and example number three we have him again Okay, looking pretty big, pretty big compared to a lot of people in the modern population, but not outrageous, not unbelievable, not something you wouldn't see in a Marvel movie or any other cinematic film or, to be honest, in any other fighting arena or sport, right? He looks pretty, quote unquote, normal. But I just don't think most people realize the, <laughs> the vast amount of human beings who do use some form of hormonal enhancement. The statistic in America is about one in three people who go to the gym are using steroids. And you might look around at your gym, maybe you're listening to this now at the gym, and see that not many people here, not even close to one in three, look like they're on steroids. No, definitely not. And you could be right, there could be no one on steroids, but you could also be 
very wrong. And the people who are on steroids just don't look like they're on steroids. I've talked about this many times before, but the genetic individuality in response to exogenous hormones varies heavily. And bodybuilding in and of itself, where we see the largest human beings that people almost always are indicatively thinking they are on steroids, there are the genetically gifted ones. They are the ones that respond well to steroids and grow extremely fast with their skeletal muscle. But I would argue that probably most everybody in the environment we're in, in the fitness world, does not respond like that. They can take ample amounts of androgens and get nothing but hair loss and acne. And I, I've talked about this in another video, and uh, I'll say it again because it's so important, but there is a big survivorship biased on social media in which people who use steroids are often highlighted as being successful because those are the ones that really trigger the algorithm. They have sick physiques and live radical lifestyles. So of course you'll see them. But what you don't see is the failures and the people who respond poorly and the people who take steroids for years but never get substantial results. And this therefore creates in most people's minds a depiction of what a steroid user would look like. Someone that is extremely muscular, extremely lean, extremely vascular but not someone who looks like your average gym goer. And that is where the dark and sinister reality meets your world. In fact, most of the people who are going to the gym right now, or at least a very large minority of them, are using some form of performance enhancing drugs. It could be SARMs, it could be pro-hormones, it could be anabolic steroids, it could be growth hormone, insulin, many different peptides but they are using something to enhance their performance or at least seek results that they aren't getting elsewhere. And if you were, let's just say a professional athlete with a $23 million contract on the line, $23 million paid up front, would you be at least slightly curious that uh, there's some chemicals out there you could be taking to guarantee that you get that contract? And furthermore, the next contract you get after six years is guaranteed to be 43 million as long as you continue your performance. So again, you're thinking probably, well, if I just take a couple shots a week, a couple shots a week, I'm going to be able to secure $43 million in one swoop, in one go, in one day. You'd be crazy not to take that opportunity. As would every professional athlete who's ever signed a contract ever for multi millions of dollars. You would be insane. The same can be said about movie stars. For example, Chris Hemsworth, someone who you know as Thor, makes on average, on average, 20 to 30 million dollars per movie he's featured in. Now, you have certainly by now associated Thor or Chris Hemsworth with a jacked body, someone who has ripped arms, abs, all the works. So would it be keen of Thor to say, I'm going to do this naturally and I'm going to try my hardest to look the best I can, or I'm going to do this unnaturally, try my hardest and get unnatural, unrealistic results that propulse me into the infinite amount of money out there in Hollywood so that I can just collect paycheck after paycheck. I would argue that he's probably taking the latter as an option versus the prior. 25 cc's a day of just gear, dude. And I would also argue that most of you put into that moral dilemma would as well. Because at the end of the day, we have great data that I've covered on this channel, which shows steroid users live longer than general population. Steroid users generally have better cardiovascular health than the general population. People don't like to hear these things, but there's actually studies clarifying all of this data. And you can see them on this channel. Just scroll down a little bit. They're there. I'm not preaching that you should use steroids. I think if anything, this video is anti-steroids more so than positive steroids. But my point is, is that most people put in this situation would absolutely take them. And you bet your ass that every professional athlete that you know who's making multi-millions of dollars is likely taking them too. Just thought I'd spread the sauce and uh, let you think about that. I don't know. <laughs> have a good one. If you enjoyed this video, we do have a Discord group down below. Lots of crazy stuff goes down in there. We have tons of information that you could really benefit from.